Hello everyone. Can somebody call me an ambulance? Because I'm in trouble. Time is moving really, really slowly. And everything is flat. I need you to call me an ambulance. Or failing that, my mummy. I really want my mummy because, and I'm not being dramatic, but I think I might be dead. Is that clear? Mummy or ambulance? I object to the fashion show on a moral level. I'm sorry. It's not about raising money, it's a popularity parade. It's just the self-elected attractive people using charities as an excuse to show off. Well, this is a first. As it happens, Mackenzie, I agree with you. You do? Yes. Great. So you understand why I'd rather not compromise my principles? Yes, I do. Totally. Unfortunately for you, it's not the First World War. You can't conscientiously object. So, you either collect the money or it's detention, starting now and continuing indefinitely. But you said you agreed with me. Yes, I know. It's a tricky one, isn't it? I'm not saying don't give to charity. Do give to charity. I'm just saying you can give without supporting this egotistical vanity fest. My daughter is one of the models. Then you've failed her. It's OK, Petal. I know boys will be boys, but I can trust you to do the responsible thing. Very lucky to have you, because you're so boring. Boring? Well, not boring. Just scared of things. Scared? Sensible. That's the word I'm looking for. Sensible. You're very sensible, so I don't have to worry about you as much. Because you're so scared. Thanks, Mum. Look, Alistair, why don't we go and have a chat about this somewhere different, eh? No, let's talk about it here. Wasn't a request. See you later, Charlotte. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to wheel me away? This thing's got brakes, you know, you can't just roll me off. You're trying to sabotage ah, this ah, event. Ah, I won't stand ah, for it. Ah, you know what I, I won't ah, stand for ah, it. Ah, I won't ah, it. Ah, boom, boom. <sighs> Sorry, I think I need to get some air. Oh dear. I was supposed to be modelling with Paul Keenan, but he got so nervous he drank a bottle of vodka and passed out in the staff toilets. Please, will you take his place? Me? Um, he won't do it. He thinks it's exclusive vanity. Right. No, he's talking shit. It's the painkillers. Of course I'll do it. Oh, great. What? You hypocrite! Ow. OK, right, you. Time for sleep. <laughs> Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Yeah, he's fine. He gets very grumpy when he's tired. Do you like the taste of beer? I don't know if I do, actually. I don't know what your problem is. I've never been out with a girl I liked anyway. What, apart from the last one who made you cry? Well? Oh, that is bang out of order. What? After everything he said? Yeah, but some things just aren't OK. You all right, Jay? Yeah, I'm fine. Apologise. For that? Yes, for that. Well, I've literally no idea what the rules are, then. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you can do this. Especially after everything Carrie's been through. <laughs> it hasn't been an easy ride for me, either. <laughs> trying to stay out of her clutches. Her dad died last month. <laughs> well, that's awful. Obviously. <laughs> but not. Not what? Well, it's not. It's not relevant, is it? What's going on? I've been told to leave for dumping a girl I wasn't going out with. Oh, fuck. Fine, whatever. I'll pick you up at one. Cool. See you tomorrow, then. Well, you're definitely not coming. But Warwick's one of my choices, so... So what? Go to the open day. Don't come with me when I'm trying to get laid. All right, look. The truth is, I don't want to be left out. I get lonely. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Do a dare. Nah, he won't. He's boring. So what? If I eat... This bonsai tree, I automatically become fun and interesting, do I? Yes. Fine. Well, I'll eat it then, and we'll see. Go on, then. I will. It's bad enough my mum's now practically internet dating. Mackenzie, did you just say your mother is internet dating? Um, sort of. Ah, interesting. I'm single at the moment, and she is very much my type. OK. Maybe you could set me up with her, and then who knows? If things go well, you could end up calling me Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm going to bed, so can you try and keep it down, yeah? What are you doing? Question! Two fingers! I'm sorry, I, I was trying to satirise their bravado. If you think about it, it worked. You ate a bonsai tree? Yes, but... I think you should go to bed 
and you lot should leave. Yeah, 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 yeah fine. We're going to the union anyway. Ah, nice one, Specs. Thanks for ruining the evening. As I'm sure you're aware, there's been a spate of vandalism recently, culminating in someone adapting the flower display by the main road so that it now reads, We Come Tit Village. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you, Mackenzie? Well, a bit. Doesn't it make sense? We Come Tit Village? What kind of morons would do that? I think you know exactly who did it. What? I don't know, sir. Honestly, I don't. Oh, come on, Mackenzie. You're the sort of busybody that knows everything that's going on. You can't resist getting that beak of yours into other people's business. Beak? Yes, your beaky nose. And if you don't tell me who did it, in my role as your UCAS referee, I will fuck your application up. I, I honestly don't know who did it. I don't. I would have grasped. You know I would have grasped straight away. Yes, that is true. Well. You've got till Monday to find out, or it's goodbye, first-rate education. Hello, the University of Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> to be fair, that was brilliant. My go. No, one more. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! Stay there! Or I'm calling the police! Well, try and stay calm, or you'll have an asthma attack, just like you did that time when we lost Teddy. OK, fine, yeah, we'll talk about it later. Oh, fuck. Who is it? It's the bloke whose garden we destroyed. What, the fat old shit? Yes, except he's not fat. He looks fucking hard. I've got to get to golf. I've got seven missed calls. My dad's gonna go mental. Fuck! Hide! What if I have to go to the birth? Can you imagine how grim that'll be? Watching that baby getting squeezed out of her ass. Right. I've got some news, Neil. Fire is an element. It must be respected. What the fuck have you done?! Hi, right, Will. Fancy a sausage? Calm down. I just got it going. I didn't even need a fire gaze badge. No, just some petrol. You put petrol on it?! Wait a minute. Is that my fold-up table on the fire? Oh, my picnic basket! I thought you said look for stuff to burn. What? Burn fucking woods, not my stuff! Now, sir. Come out here, you coward! I think we should all take a breath, try and calm down. You're telling me to calm down? Calm down? I'll smash the shit out of your garden and see how you like it! OK, I've got a really bad hangover, so if you aren't willing to have a sensible conversation, I'm just going to shut the curtains. Are you taking the moral fucking high ground? Is that what you're doing? OK, as I say, I'm going to close these now. You think that's going to stop me? I'm closing them now. You think I give a fuck? About to close. You're a bunch Closing. of fucking vandals and I call Closing. the police, but I want to deal with you myself! And they're closed. I will deal with you! He's gone. What are you doing? Fire's going down. Stop burning my things! Sorry, I was wondering, when you're gone... Yeah? What do you want us to do with Will, like, look after him and stuff? I'm not a stray cat, Neil. I'll just worry about you, that's all. I think I'll be fine. Good night. Thanks, though, Neil. <laughs>